Let's talk about NFL video portraits. So the Buffalo Bills came to us looking for some headshots of their players, and we do these kind of artistic shots um, in slow motion in these cool spaces. And what they use this footage for is social media, for broadcast, in-game, for pumps. Um, we came up with this beautiful space, and um, this really shows the players um, in the best light we can, whether they're more intense, whether they're more happy, um, and we can just kind of let them play and let their personality shine through the footage. Like any production, this had a lot of challenges. So one of the biggest ones is that we had to film an NFL team with around 90 players. They didn't make any cuts yet, so we had to film as many guys as we could. We had a, a live edit right there when they came in, and so they could look at that and kind of see stuff we've done previously. We also had music hopping pretty loud, so these guys get a little pumped up. We also had our focus pole with a larger sumo monitor, so the guys could kind of come over there and see what's happening live in front of them, and that really kind of pumped up and a little bit more excited about you know looking cool in front of the camera. Also, we had to do photo and video combined, and we had three to five minutes per player. So we really needed to utilize our time the best we could and crunch everything in there, get as many looks as we can within five minutes with photo and video, which was a challenging but also very exciting. Uh, for this setup, we used the Area Mirror, which is an absolutely phenomenal camera. Um, the colors it produces are amazing, and the sensor is just unmatched, so that was an easy go-to. We also used a look in camera. Um, that really helped us on day of so we could see what the footage was going to look like rather than looking at a Rec. 709 or just a log. And that's actually the same look that you're going to see in the edits where we kept that through and through. We were just really happy with the colors it was producing. So um, yeah, it turned out really good. So we had a follow focus on the camera and then we also had a Teradek on there. I also had a director monitor through a Shogun Inferno and a Teradek. And uh, so it was getting a little heavy on the camera and we also were a little intense. So a big reason why we have the easy rig, which you see our cam op Davies wearing, is uh, you know we shot for two, three hours at a time and it was players back to back to back and we wanted a handheld look. So that's helped us shoot for three hours with a 40 pound camera and uh, not die. So that was uh, really beneficial and I think Davies appreciated it. So we shot 100 frames a second on the Amir. We also shot in ProRes. Um, a big reason why we chose 100 frames a second was that, uh, you know, if you go up to 200 frames a second, sometimes you have a little too much information there, and then you end up speeding it up anyways because everything's just way too slow. We found 100 frames a second was just right to where you could still capture the action and ramp it up and uh, give the editors a lot of room in post. We shot in the Atlas lenses for this, so which are anamorphic, and uh, they're a very new company. They loaned us these for uh, this project, and they turned out really good. A big reason why we wanted to shoot anamorphic on this set was our set was very wide. There was a lot to see, so anamorphic really helped us see all that, but also get a really nice close-up of our players, and we also we like this um, wide and close look, which anamorphic helps you do, but also still see the whole set. So I think they really turned out great. Check out our more in-depth review on the Atlas Anamorphic Lenses. Um, that's right on our channel, and uh, pop over there and give it a look. We're going to talk about our lighting setup now, and uh, this was actually pretty complex. We had used quite a few lights, and uh, yeah, it was a hearty chunk of change. So we'll look at the key first, which is a Joker 800. We had that up on a combo stand pointing down through an 8x8 silk. Um, and they're pretty far enough away from the players that this gives a really nice spread, really nice soft light which allows them to move around in their space. And so if we wanted to go back or go forward, it wouldn't really change the lighting that much and still have a nice soft look. Um, but also if they wanted to back up into the wall, we could still silhouette them. So the idea was to get as much versatility we can in this space with one singular light. We also had a flag on standby that we would use to turn it on, on and off the Joker as it's an HMI light. So the best way to do it is just flag it. And that gives us really cool looks that we use sometimes to kind of create this chaotic world environment where the lights are going on and off. Um, and it's a just a more dynamic look. Um, we had four Kinos underneath those sidewalls that you see with that mesh there. And those were on the ground pointing up and they're gelled red. And uh, that really helped the look of complementing the red hexagons. And also, it was really cool when we brought the players up to it, it was acting as a key, as a, just a big red fill on their eyes. And uh, we use that quite a bit, if you'll see some of that in the footage. Just like the Kino Flows, um, we have these tube lights in the back wall, and so those are acting as practical lights, but they're also acting as a key at times. Um, they're back there, so when we pushed our player all the way to the back, we lost a lot of our key light, and those kind of you know, acted as our new key. And that was really helpful for us and our photographer, because uh, it was really dark back there. We also have some 1x2s in the side, and those are helping light our hexagon wall, and it's creating some depth and dimension to the wall, and it's giving it a really cool look. They don't hit the players at all, they're just lighting the wall, um, and they really did a lot for us. We also have an M18 in the very far back, and that's gelled red, and that's what you see those light streaks come through the hexagon for. We have that on pretty much a full flood, and uh, that's just popping through, and it makes that wall look even cooler than it was just without it. It would 
kind of look cool, but with it, it looks extra special. One thing that was beautiful about it was that we got these awesome flares that would pop through the hexagons because that light was so harsh shooting through. And we used them quite a bit, and we would move the hexagons a little and get that light to just shine through just enough to where it created an awesome look. We also have a Joker 800 at the very top of our set. And uh, what that was doing was giving a nice silhouette to our player, is giving them a nice edge. It also kind of helped their form. It um, accentuated their muscles a little bit more. And when we wanted to kill our keys, it just gave it a really cool look. And uh, if you watch some of the scenes where we hit the chalk dust, that's a big reason why you can see that. It's just because they're heavily backlit and it's uh, helping the haze out and everything. It's just giving the whole set better dimension. Our backlight was also giving us a lot of good flares. And you'll see we use those quite a bit. We would look all the way to the very top of the set, and that's how we got some really cool flares out of these anamorphic lenses, um, which really helped achieve our look. So that is how we did NFL video portrait setup. Um, this was pretty crazy. It was a lot of fun. A lot of the players seemed to like it too. And I think we got a lot of really good footage out of it, and a big reason why we did was because of those Atlas lenses. Um, if you want to hop on over and check out that review, we talk a lot more about them and uh, what makes them so special in the world of anamorphics. Let us know what you think, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment and we'll get back to you. Um, we want to share our information and we want to see what you guys are doing too, so uh, see you soon.